Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 8. Right? Dragon Quest 8. That's the thing we're doing. Oh, that's an issue. I thought we were gonna get picture there for a second. <laughs> Yeesh! Well, anyway... At least you were right about something. No one here so much as bats an eyelid at me. No, they wouldn't. Oh wait, you are an ugly green monster. I suppose that is extraordinary. So, the pub awaits. I'll go on ahead, and I wouldn't want to get in your way. No, 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 of course not. You'll go and find this brains fellow. I'll be waiting for your report. Okay. You go... Hang out at the bar. Waiting. Boozing, more like. See, that's now, what I was going to say. Let's forget about him and head over to Brains's. Brains is. Brains is. got to keep our minds on the job, eh? We've got to find that Dalmagus. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, actually, what we have to do is clean out a lot of stuff we can get from this town. This town is chock full of stuff and uh, has a casino in it. So, first things first. This is the Pick'em Casino. You, ugh, this is a hard casino to win money at. You can do it. If you want to save your game and come in here repeatedly, you can do it. Um, so, uh, tokens cost 20 gold apiece, which makes them pretty expensive. We're going to buy, um, what, 20? You know, we've got to, i got to show you exactly, like, um, I'm going to show you both games. There are only two games you can play in here. Later, there'll be a better casino where it's easier to win money, so... The first one is this a one-token slot machine, which actually costs five tokens a spin if you want to play all lines on it. So... Alright, big money, big money, big money, no whammies! No whammies! Oh, we're gonna match up slimes or watermelons! Slimes or watermelons, slimes or watermelons! Ah! You're a jerk machine. And I hate you. Alright. Seven? Seven? Oh, wait. No. Oh, well. Anyway, so that's that. That's all I'm going to show you. I mean, you can theoretically hit, like, a thousand tokens in here and stuff. The tokens aren't really good for anything, um, except you can trade them in for kind of prizes. And the prizes here are all right. Um, the next casino will have to do a lot of that, and I'll have a strategy for that. But here are the prizes. So, like, you know, magic water and silver platter, which is a shield, it's kind of like the pot lid. Um, agility ring. Titan belt actually does a pretty good increase on anybody's attack, which is nice. So. I mean, you know, it's, if you, yeah, like in a rune staff, which you might want to get one. Platinum headgear is an increase for some people, but like. The bottom line is that, like, none of this stuff is really worth your time. Um, although, if you do want to play here for tokens, um, they will transfer to the next casino, however many you have. So, so this is the bingo game, and this is the other way. And this thing's really weird. It's You have 25 numbers on your... No, you have 24 numbers on your card, and it'll pick 10. And if you get a bingo, depending on how early you get it, it'll multiply your bet by something. So we're, we just bet all 10 up that we have left, because I just want to show this. And the best you can do is if you get four numbers that form a bingo. Which you can do four different ways on the card. Like vertical, horizontal, or either diagonal. Um, you will win 400 times your bet. Which should be 4,000 tokens at this point. I mean. And you can bet uh, up to, I think, 100 tokens on this game. So if you're playing 100 tokens and you hit that, that's, you know, 40,000. So... I've never hit 400. I've hit 100 times the bet. Which I could right here if I get 15. No. Okay. More often than not, you won't get anything. But like I said, you can save your game and reload and play single games over and over at max bet if you want. Um, we're not going to be doing any of that in this video. I'm just going to show the casino and move on like it never existed. If we need... We may need agility rings later for uh, alchemy purposes, but if we do, I'll come back. 
See, now we have double, a double chance to get a bingo. Um, and we still didn't get anything. Okay. So there you go. So that's the casino. Taken care of. That was me dusting off my hands. Because that's what I say about that. So now we have no tokens. So, uh, we'll head on out of here. And then, like I said, pick up some stuff. And... And do good things. So back here, there's some stuff in the wall. We'll take care of that. Alright, this place is a trash hole. But it has a cabinet in it. Bunny tail! Yay, bunny tail! Don't we already have one of those? I think we already have one. Alright. Reddit powder! 12 gold! I'm rich! That doesn't even make up for the $400 I spent at the stupid casino. Anyway. Whatever. Stupid casino. Like I said, you know, you can. I, like, in my last game, I actually... Um... Played through... Um, or, like, reloaded to play the casino over and over and over again. Until I could get, like, you know... The attack belts for everybody and agility rings. It was just ridiculous. So, uh, this is the uh, back door of the shops in town. Well, there's more chainmail. We could have skipped that other one I went out of my way to get, but whatever. Chainmail may have an alchemy purpose later. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. We're getting to the point where I'm going to have to do some research about some alchemy recipes. We haven't been putting anything in the alchemy pot at all lately. Alright, and so these are our item shops. Or our, well, our weapon shops and stuff. And this guy blocks the door and tries to make you pay 10, 10 coins. But there are two different ways to get around him. So you never have to pay his money. He just kind of stands there and, like, does crazy martial arts. Alright, so we'll see what the shops have to offer, and... Well, we've got... Some kind of upgrades there. The... The dancer costume is an outfit change for Jessica. So, um, we're going to have to get it at some point. But I want to see what they're selling for weapons before we do that. I don't expect they'll have any kind of great... Oh, that iron axe is probably a jump for Yangus. Oh, is it ever? Yeesh, we don't have quite enough for it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Maybe later. All right. Okay. So buy the dancer's costume, and I'll put it on Jessica, and I'll show it to you. Cause it is uh her her outfits <laughs> her outfits do become kind of progressively more revealing as we go along. I will I will ruin that surprise, I suppose. Um, although I think you could argue about whether or not they become progressively sexier. Because I don't inherently think that the stuff she, like, the, the, the later armors are, um, well, again, I'm not going to get ahead of myself here. Jessica's stuff is hilarious. That is the bottom line. It's, uh, it's unbelievable they did this in a game. So anyway, so, uh, here we go. Close up on the beauty. Look at that. Okay. So there she is. All in her dancer's costume, running around with her skirt and, I don't know, whatever else. Uh, I don't know what the term is for that, like that kind of top or something. I'm sure somebody else knows. Alright. So, uh, this little door thing here will be our next stop. And actually, I'm going to say, uh, we probably, we're not going to mess with it. But, uh, there is a, uh, there's a treasure room in this this building that we can't we can't open yet. Oh, see to life. Well, there's that's good. All right. Sorry, I'm uh I'm trying to run through my instructions here and in a building like this, it's kind of hard because my instructions are like door opposite door you came in, take a right, take a left. All right. Oh, yay. 
Holy water. Hooray! Okay, we've got some other stuff in here. Nope. Alright. Okay. Did you know there are some alchemy recipes that involve three different ingredients? Oh. Uh, no. I did not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with no. Uh, way to spoil stuff. Dude. Oh. Okay. So yes, there are, at some point we will be able to put three things in the alchemy pot. Thank you for spoiling things, buddy. Alright, enough looking at pretty Jessica. I know everybody's like, oh. <sighs> Alright, forward as us. I, uh, yeah, we don't have to do anything else here, so we can get out. That was, well, whatever. I don't need to talk to you guys about too much behind-the-scenes stuff. You do realize that I don't have this entire game memorized, right? Like, just just so everybody knows um, that I am, you know, like I do kind of checklist stuff, which is, it's really easy out in the real world to do that when you're, like, running, or not the real world, when you're running from place to place. So, um... Oh, come on. It's in one of these. There we go. Uh, the, um, it's easy to do that when your job is just to go from Escantha to, to pick them. But when your job is to search an entire town for everything that's in it, uh, it takes a little time. And a little nosing around and stuff. But. So just so you know, I mean, try, you know, I try to not break the fourth wall and be like, oh, excuse me while I look at the things I have written down, but like, what can you do, really? Like, you either gotta cop to it or edit it out or sign it. So anyway, like, this place is weird. Like, first off, it's a well with a door in it. <laughs> but it's like... All right. Welcome to Pick'em Secret Club. <laughs> All right. Great. And that Armo Seco Essence is a more powerful healer. So. Or is it like your insides are stewing in a pot? Even in a dirty hole like Pick'em, you gotta watch your hygiene, and that means watching your itches. We're all heartily healthy conscious here in the secret sauna. See, look at the steam coming out of that pot. And how about that smell? Can't you whiff the sweet odor of sweat? Ha <laughs> ha! Ugh. You don't want to go telling no one about this place here. Otherwise, ha ha ha. Jeez. These guys are weird. All right. All the harmful effects inside you come out through your pores, sweats the mark of a real man. Alright. Enough giving guys high pitched falsetto voices. Anywho, I thought that was gonna be funny. Maybe that will play as funny, but probably not. It will probably just sound tired and obnoxious. Anyway, um. Uh, so, uh. You know, I actually, um. Uh. Spent a lot of time in the last like four months, uh, going to uh, to sweat ceremonies. Uh, I have a friend who pours sweat ceremonies and got invited. It was uh, it was interesting. All right, just just try to figure out which way is west and which way is east, people. <laughs> because it's hard compared to the world map and stuff. Like, oh yeah, this is where we're supposed to be. Okay. I have a house with four rooms. That's that's what I've listed here. Oh, that guy looks brilliant. We're getting a lot of mini medals in here, which is awesome. Again, we'll deal with those later. That's another another thing in the game. I would like I, my my hope again, and I probably said this before. But my hope is to get all of them. Okay.
Alright, now we have to go all the way down here. Yay, all the way down here! Hooray! And stairs! And there's like a whole walkway system up here. So this is going to be a nightmare. Well, not really. It's actually not. Because there aren't a lot of rooms to go in and stuff, it, this is actually a lot easier than kind of anything else we've done. I thought this was supposed to be the fortune teller's place. I guess not. Oh, a pair of boxer shorts. Hooray. The hell with this place. Oh, there's a... Okay. Well, that... Pff, again, to hell with this place. I came here to become a poet get away from my boring life in the country. Just look at me. Damn the clear blue sky, I hate it. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. Who moves somewhere to be a poet? I guess people do. I have a friend who has, yeah, like, published several places and really is one of those people who just has the drive to do it. Like, has just puts out stuff all the time, gets accepted and, and stuff, and like is, I don't know, if he's becoming a... Um, well-respected poet. He has a bunch of poet friends. He goes to poet comp writing conferences and stuff. I don't know. He's a nice guy. I like him. I like, he's a friend of mine. I haven't really spent a lot of time reading his poetry or anything, and I'm not so much a poetry buff as much as I used to be anyway. So There's another mini medal. Woohoo! Was it like five in this town? All right. So, this is where Brains is supposed to be. <laughs> nice. Well, this is Brains' gaff, but he looks like he ain't. Aw. Oh, well. We better get back to the pub and ask the old codger what he wants to do. Fair enough. But first, we're going to go into Brains' house and steal stuff. Also, I want to give a shout out to Harry Dean Stanton for being a better character named Brain. Anyway. See to wisdom, which makes sense. Because we're in Brains' place. Alright, people. Well, now we have we have a little bit more to do. As far as cleaning this town out. But I'm really going to have to find a place to stop this video. So. Because we're getting up there in time. Yay, the pub. All right. And that's not the pub that Trode is in. Trode is in a different pub. This town has two pubs. So we'll be stopping there. Um, and uh, I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.